My name is Matt Parker and I'm here today to demonstrate the industry popular Lil DMXter from Goddard Design. This neat little device is more than just a cable tester, featuring the show saver backup function as well as the ability to view, analyse and transmit DMX512 data. DMX cables are the bane of a lighting engineer's life. That's why a tester is always useful to have to hand. Testing cables couldn't be easier. The little DMXter can test the cable whether it's straight from the flight case or already rigged. Testing a cable that's already rigged is commonplace and is often the first stage of fault finding on site. So the simple test begins by taking a snapshot of the console for which the little DMXter will eventually compare this data to the suspect cable. So, switch on the device, scroll through to the cable test option, hit yes, scroll through the sub-menu to the single ending cable test and hit yes again. We now need to go to the console. So, starting at the console end, take a short DMX patch cable and plug it into the main app of the console. We can now plug the other end into the little DMX test. Pressing yes will start the snapshot recording. Once the display reads snapshot recorded, we can now unplug this pattern. Remember to replace the main transmission line into the main output of the console. We can now find the cable to be tested in the rig and locate the end of it. Remember it must, must be downstream of the console. Unplug this from the rig and plug it again into the input of the little DMXter. The device will automatically test this data against the snapshot we recorded earlier at the console. Should this be OK, the display will read pass. If not, it will display fail, indicating either pin 2 or 3 has failed, or in some cases 4 or 5. Data flicker is often a fault experience with older and well-used lighting consoles. It's often experienced as erratic channel levels and often misdiagnosed as a dimmer or fixture fault. So, with the little DMX at the hand, we can help find the source of this fault. Starting by eliminating the console, first locate the flicker finder function in the main menu. Scroll through. Hit yes and now wait. At the console, take a short DMX patch lead and plug this into the main output of the console. Plug the other end into the DMX tip and hit yes to take a snapshot of the data output by the console. Once this snapshot has been recorded, the display will read data recorded. And we can now test this data for flickers. Scroll down and select yes for flicker finder at end of line. The little DMXter will now compare the initial data snapshotted and compare it to the data incoming now. If a flick is located, the display will read fail. If not, the display will read pass and we can move on repeating the process further down the DMX. The main feature of the show saver function is the DMX monitoring mode. This function will constantly monitor the data coming from the console to the dimmers and fixtures. Should a fault ever be detected, the display will flash up and give the operator a chance to agree with this fault and hit the yes key. Hitting this yes key will get the DMXter to seamlessly crossfade the last scene it saw before the fault. To enter the show saver mode, Scroll through the main menu to the show saver option. Hit yes, and the sub menu will either display playback, clear, or record scene. Hit yes to enter the playback scene mode. This will get the device to start monitoring the DMX signal into it. It's now ready to detect any faults you may have during your show. To simulate a fault, I'll unplug the DMX coming into it from the console. A fault has been detected and is shown by these lights coming out. The display now says, fail. 
the operator can hit yes, and the last scene it saw will be cross faded in. The lights will come back on. If a fault occurs, hitting yes will always cross fade to the last live scene it saw. A lifesaver for any show. Thanks for watching, and all the best with the new DMX. Thank you.